We've been hearing a lot about uh, arsenic lately. Consumer Reports just released a study of store-bought apple and grape juice. It says 10% of it has unhealthy levels of arsenic in it. And this morning, we're hearing that rice can also have high levels of arsenic, and that's an issue for babies and their parents. So joining us now is medical contributor Dr. Holly Phillips. Great to have you with us, Holly. Thank Great you for be being here. here. Always. So how does arsenic make its way into food? Well, you know what? Arsenic is actually a chemical that's in our soil and rocks naturally. But for many years in the United States, it was actually added to our soil in the form of pesticides. That's a more dangerous form of the, of the chemical called inorganic arsenic. It turns out that the way that rice is grown in the soil with a lot of water makes it particularly able to soak up arsenic. And so it gets concentrated in the rice and then subsequently we eat it. All right, so what are we looking at here with this study? What are some of the things that the study did find? Right. Well, the study was out of Dartmouth. Uh, they looked at over 200 women who were pregnant. Uh, some of the women had a half cup of rice a day, others had none. Um, they then tested their urine and found that women who had a half cup of rice just for two days had 53% more arsenic in their urine than women who didn't. Mm. So it really showed that rice can be a source of this chemical. Uh, we just don't know exactly how much is is too much, but, but we do know it affects fetuses. It can affect pregnant women. It can affect the unborn baby. So as much as we can avoid it is a good thing. So what, what are the effects on a fetus, for example, an unborn baby or on a mother who's pregnant that we should be worried about sure. here? Well, it really all has to do with how much you're exposed to. Now, the EPA regulates how much arsenic is in our drinking water. Uh, so that's 10 parts per billion. It is not uncommon for rice to have 100 parts per billion mm. or even up up to 2,000 parts per billion. Now, in extremely high doses, arsenic can cause cancers, particularly liver cancer, kidney cancer, and lung cancer, as well as bladder cancer. It's linked with heart disease, diabetes, and some neurologic problems in children. But the real question here is how much arsenic are we dealing with? And we don't know that yet, but what this study shows is that we might want to look, take a closer look at our dietary sources. Okay, you see those graphics there in and you see that information, mm -hmm. how do you avoid it? Is there a way to avoid it? There's not a way to avoid it completely, but you can make a difference by going organic, particularly with things we know are high in arsenic. For instance, chicken, uh, apple juice, as we mm -hmm. just recently heard, mm -hmm. and rice are all high in arsenic. Even rice cereals and rice milk we need to be careful of. Uh, you should get your water tested, particularly if you have well water. Um, city water is tested automatically. Or if you have concerns, you can get yourself tested. It's a very easy blood test at the doctor's office. And just to clarify a point you made a few moments ago mm -hmm. about w we know that it could be bad, but it's the quantity that people come in contact with that really is the significant part it, of this story. Exactly. Right now, we, would, we think that you'd have to have gallons and gallons of rice to really put yourself in danger. Um, that doesn't mean we shouldn't follow it closely. All right. Dr. Holly Phillips, mm -hmm. as always, great information. We sure. appreciate it.